Mastering the Pinch Pot Technique, a beginner's guide. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of pottery with a focus on a fundamental skill every aspiring potter should know, the pinch pot technique. This method is not only an essential building block for beginners but also a doorway to understanding the basics of pottery. Let's explore how this simple yet profound technique can help you start your journey in the art of making pottery. The pinch pot technique is one of the oldest forms of pottery making. It involves creating pots or vessels by starting with a ball of clay, and then, using your fingers, you pinch and shape the clay into a desired form. This method is distinctive because it doesn't require any advanced tools or equipment, making it perfect for beginners. The beauty of a pinch pot lies in its simplicity and the direct connection between the creator's hands and the clay. Before we start, you'll need a few basic items. Clay. Soft, pliable clay is essential. It should be moist enough to shape but firm enough to hold its form. Water. A small bowl of water to keep your hands and the clay moist, preventing cracking. A clean, flat surface. This will be your workspace where you'll shape your clay. Remember, the quality of your materials can greatly influence the final outcome, so choose wisely. 1. Prepare your clay. Begin by rolling your clay into a smooth ball. This helps remove any air pockets that might cause your pot to crack later. 2. Start pinching. Hold the clay ball in one hand. Use the thumb of your other hand to press down into the center of the ball, but not all the way through. This creates the initial cavity of your pot. 3. Shape the walls. With your thumb still inside the cavity, Start pinching the walls of the pot with your thumb on the inside and your fingers on the outside. Rotate the ball as you go, maintaining even pressure to keep the thickness uniform. 4. Smooth and refine. Once you have the basic shape, you can smooth the surface with your fingers, a damp sponge, or tools if desired. This is also the time to refine the rim and shape of your pot. 5. Dry and fire. After shaping, your pot needs to dry completely before it can be fired in a kiln, transforming it from clay to ceramic. Even thickness. Strive for uniform thickness to avoid weak spots that might crack or break. Moisture is key. Keep the clay moist to prevent cracking. If it starts to dry, lightly dab it with water. Patience. Take your time. Rushing the process can lead to mistakes and frustration. Congratulations on taking your first step into the world of pottery with the pinch pot technique. Remember, practice is essential in mastering any skill. Don't be afraid to experiment with shapes and sizes, and most importantly, enjoy the process. We hope this video has inspired you to start your pottery journey. Happy potting! and see you in our next video.